wonderful, great personality, the Holy Spirit, also intercedes for you and for me. Let me ask you something. How can any one of God's precious children go down in defeat when we have at the great right hand of God the Father, when in a position of great high priest, the very Son of the living God, and living to make intercession? How can you live one moment of your life in defeat when you have the great high priest interceding for you, the very Son of the living God, every moment of your life, night and day. But more than that, you have this personality, the Holy Spirit, the mighty power of the Trinity, who will intercede for you that you might know the perfect will of God. And sometimes I think the hardest thing in the world is to know the perfect will of God. Let me read something that's precious. Oh, it's so precious. Likewise, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself will make the intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of God. Oh, to know what is in the mind of God. How often I've sought to know what is in the mind of God. Don't stop there. The Spirit, the Spirit knoweth what is in the mind of God. He that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. I dare say there isn't a single one of us but what sometime in our life we've come to the place where we have not known the will of God. We've come to a crossroad. Only one decision that we make is in the perfect will of God. I've been in that position, so have you. And God has a perfect will. I believe that. This very moment, God has a perfect will for you. God has a perfect will in my life. In making decisions, it must be made in the perfect will of God and yet we're human and we come to the place where we seek his will we know not what his will is you ask me what do we do under those circumstances wait just wait upon him do nothing but wait when you're not sure and as you wait the Holy Spirit will make intercession for you, knowing the perfect will of God. But remember something, you can only know his perfect will, and he'll only make intercession for you before the Father's throne, seeking the will of God in your behalf when you get to the place where you have no will of your own. And sometimes I think that's the hardest, the most difficult thing in the world. I have a will separate apart from the will of God. You, as an individual, have a will separate and apart from the will of the Father. Jesus, the form of flesh, had a will separate and apart from the will of his Father. But remember that great experience in the life of the Son of the living God. Before he could die on the cross and pay the price for man's redemption, he too had to get to the place where he could look up and say, 
far, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. The very Son of the living God had to surrender his will to the will of the Father, and the two wills became as one. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It isn't easy to tell you. I only know within. I only know through spiritual revelation. But there comes a time in our life when we love him enough. We love him so completely that we look up and say, not two wills, your will and my will, but one will. And I surrender my will to his will. And then it's impossible to miss the will of God. There's something else. This wonderful personality. You must have him. You can't live your life without him. You can't. You can't live a full life without him. Remember something else. His spirit will bear witness with your spirit. And we're living in an hour of great deception. The Bible teaches in the closing moments of this dispensation, there's great deception in the world. As surely as there's a genuine, there's always a counterfeit. But his spirit will bear witness with your spirit. His spirit. In this hour of great deception, Wait, be sure that His Spirit bears witness with your Spirit. Alleluia. <laughs> Oh, 